Welcome back to the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. Today, I'm at Bryce Canyon National Park in southern Utah. On Google, this place has almost 21,000 reviews with a rating of 4.9 out of 5 stars. That's almost unheard of, but there's a reason for it. For every one mile you hike, you actually get a free beer. <laughs> Obviously, I'm just kidding. But in all seriousness, this place is off the charts beautiful. Bryce Canyon is home to the largest collection of hoodoos on earth. A hoodoo is a tall, thin spire of rock that was crafted over the course of millions of years by the forces of erosion. So, you're going to want to stick around till the end of this video because the most beautiful clips are actually towards the end. I'll explain that in more detail as I proceed to give you 10 tips for visiting Bryce Canyon National Park. Number 1. As soon as you enter the park, go directly to the visitor center and watch the 24 minute film in their theater. It's called A Song of Seasons and it's the perfect way to start your adventure. Number two, then drive all the way to the end of the park. It's 18 miles altogether and the location is called Rainbow Point. The reason you're going to want to do this is because this way all the pull-offs will be on the right hand side of the road as you slowly make your way back towards the entrance. Number three, I know you've heard this before, but grab as much water as you think you're going to need and then double it. Bryce Canyon gets 255 days of sunshine per year. So much of the year it's very hot and dry. Number four, you're going to take lots of pictures, so make sure your phone and camera are fully charged. Number five, most of the pull-offs are quite short and the parking lots are a bit small. I went on a Wednesday so the crowds were very manageable but I wouldn't even think about going on a weekend. If your only option is to go on the weekend, be sure to utilize the free shuttle system they offer within the park. Number six, bring a hat and some sunscreen. Also, if you have a neck gaiter laying around, bring it. It'll keep the sun off your neck and also give you something to use to wipe the sweat off your face. Number seven, bring your hiking boots and plan on hiking the Navajo Loop and Queens Garden Trail. It's about three miles altogether with a 650 foot elevation gain. It is slightly challenging, but it'll be one of the best hikes of your life. Number eight, be sure to download the All Trails app. This will be quite handy when you decide to hike the Queen's Garden Trail. Number nine, for me, it seemed like the restrooms were few and far between. So make sure to check out the locations on the map since you'll be drinking so much water. Hi ladies. Hello. 
Number 10. Say hi to people as you pass them. Visitors to national parks are some of the nicest people you'll ever meet. Everybody is there for the same reason. To get outdoors and have an experience to remember for a lifetime. What's up, ladies? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Wave to the camera. <laughs> Before I go, I just wanted to thank the beautiful ladies from New York and the beautiful ladies from Maryland for being in my video. You made my day extra special and I truly enjoyed our conversations. Hope to keep in touch on social media. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We will see you next time.